Welcome to another episode of Sirirat News. My name is Bill. And I am Ella. So today we'll introduce you to some interesting cases in medical microbiology. Okay, and here is the case. Three weeks ago, five men who worked together in an agricultural community in Uwan Rajatani in Northeast Thailand were reported to have suffered from an unidentified disease. All of them had a fever, cough, chest pain, and shortness of breath. One of the patients informed that they had been working together in the paddy field for about two weeks before a symptom appeared. Today, laboratory investigation by the local research unit confirmed the diagnosis of melioidosis. And that was the case. So now let's take a look at some interesting facts about this disease. Melioidosis is an infectious disease that it can infect both humans and animals. It is caused by a species of bacteria known as Burkholderia pseudomaliae, which is found in tropical areas throughout the world, including Thailand. Burkholderia pseudomaliae can be found under the natural soil surface uh, during the dry season, but can also be found in surface water or in the mud, especially after heavy rain. The bacteria enter the body through cuts in the skin or via inhalation of water particles containing live bacteria, and less commonly by ingestion of contaminated water. The pulmonary symptoms of melioidosis generally begin within three weeks after being infected, often starting with shortness of breath, wet cough, and fever. And as you can see, that these symptoms are very non-specific and can be difficult to diagnose. So the definite diagnosis of the disease relies mainly on laboratory investigation. Melioidosis can be fatal and requires urgent medical attention. Unfortunately, there is currently no vaccine against the disease. However, if treated early with antimicrobial therapy, um, complete recovery can be expected. To protect yourself from contracting the bacteria, waterproof boots and protective gloves should be worn when working in muddy environment. Covering the nose and mouth with a mask can reduce the risk of infection through inhalation. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for your attention. Please don't forget to follow and like our page, Sirat PR. And we'll be back again with Sirat News.